homemade potato chips. And believe me, once you've made these, you're going to want to make them all the time. They are so much nicer than the store-bought ones. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is get started here by peeling the potatoes. Now you really don't have to peel these, you can leave the skins on. I just think they look a little nicer with them off. And you're best using a fairly low starch potato such as a russet or Yukon gold, but you can use just about any potato you want. So after the potatoes are peeled, you're going to grab your slicer and slice the potatoes into fairly thin strips. I only paid about four or five bucks for this and it works perfect. You can slice these by hand too using a knife. You're just not going to get the consistent thickness. So the slicer makes life a lot easier. This is about what you want here, a nice thinly cut potato. After you've done that, go ahead and get them into a bowl of water. What I'm doing here is just kind of taking my hands and moving them around because you want to get out as much starch as possible. Then we're going to put the potatoes into a colander and give them a good rinse. What you're going to do now is put them back into a bowl of cold water, add in a couple of tablespoons of salt, Then give them a little stir here. And leave them set for, I'd say, oh, about 30 minutes. After about half an hour, I'm just going to take the potatoes out here and set them on a paper towel. Put another paper towel over the top and just kind of pat them down. You want these as dry as possible because we're going to fry these and we don't want spats when we're frying. At this point in time, what you want to do is heat your oil up and you want it about 350 degrees. Now you can use a candy thermometer, but what I usually do is just put a potato in and if it kind of sizzles up, you know the oil's ready. I'm just using a pan here and I've got about an inch and a half of oil in it. Of course, you can use a deep fryer if you have one. So we'll just place the potatoes in, in batches, and I've got about eight slices in here, but it really depends on the size of your pan. And I'm going to fry these over medium heat, and that should maintain the temperature of your oil for about two, two and a half minutes, just until they turn a nice golden brown. And I should mention that there are a couple of different ways you can do these. You can bake them, do them in the microwave. I've tried them all, and frying by far produces the best results for me. Well, the potatoes are frying, don't forget to subscribe and leave us a comment because I really enjoy reading your comments. Until they look something like this, this is just about perfect. So what we're going to do is take them out and put them on a plate lined with a paper towel. Of course, you're going to continue to fry the rest of your potatoes this way. Once the potatoes are done, we're just going to season them up. I'm just using a bit more salt here, but you can use whatever your taste buds are calling out for. And there you have it. And look at this, guys. Nicely colored, crispy, flavorful potato chips. A great snack for when you're watching movies. 